Okay, now we're going to put our inlet plumbing in and it can be fairly close to the outlet as long as it's not directing straight into the outlet. So you take your inlet which is going to sit in like this, the longer piece of aggie pipe which will be a metre or a couple of metres depending on the size of your bed. And we're going to throw that along the bed and use the screenings to hold that in place. That's just going to slide over the end of here, making sure that you're directing it away from the outlet so the water's not running straight in and then straight out, but the bed will fill up nicely and you want to keep your inlet nice and close to the outlet so when you're filling it you can see when it's full rather than having it down the other end of the bed. bed. Next thing we can do is go through and mark the level we're going to go to with the screenings. Now this is a 40 centimetre bed so we want 25 centimetres of soil and about 15 centimetres of screenings in the base. So hopefully you've calculated that out already and placed your order with your landscape supply. So I'm going to mark the soil level from the top which gives us our screening level from the bottom. So 25 centimetres from the top I'll just put a couple of little lines around the bed as we go, 25 from about here. Now it doesn't need to be precise, but it does need to be pretty close, so you know where you're aiming for. 25, so we're in here. We'll do one more on this side. 25. Now we're almost ready for those magical screenings. One last step before we get there is we're going to trim down the liner. So if your liner is bigger than the bed frame, as you can see this one is, then we're just going to trim it nice and high, right on the inside of the timber there, above the staples of course, so it stays in place. And being very, very careful not to drop your knife into the bed itself.